Hello there, this is DBT and this Art of Runes. And alright, let's continue playing some more Asphalt Legends Unite. And today, I will be driving my pure Italia Berlinetta in multiplayer to determine how far can it take me? And this is the series in which I drive the cars in MP1, the most competitive multiplayer series to well, try to determine how far can the car take me into it. And of course I'm making a video on this car because just yesterday the car hunt for this thing began. So you have a chance to acquire this car and today we're going to try to figure out is this a good car, is this worth your time, your grind, your tokens on refills or whatever. Well, let's try to figure that out. But first, if you like my content, you know what to do, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. When you do those things, you tell YouTube this is worth recommending to other people that allows the channel to grow and in that way DBT can continue making videos for you. So go ahead, do that for DBT. But alright, so like I just mentioned, there's a car hunt for this thing right now. And like I said, it started yesterday, so you still have, by the time I'm recording this and releasing this, you still have over six days in order to do it, which is uh, plenty, a good amount of time to do it. Now, if you're curious about if you haven't had a look, uh, the cars that you're going to need for the 10 guaranteed blueprints are the Cadillac CN and the Apollo N. Neither of these cars are particularly rare, so that's some 10 blueprints that you can get from there. And then, of course, you need to, uh, basically with a Class C, beat this time to get the three packs per race, and well, try your luck. Now, I did talk about this car uh, much earlier in this season or when the patch notes were out and I did say that maybe this was one of the cars that was worth to get the daily event pass or whatever it's called because this car, it's good. Just how good is it? Well, let's have a look at the multiplayer. Now, I am in Gold League 1, which is actually one league above where I need to be in order to drive this car, but I'm still gonna do it in this way. This is a Gold 2 car. But in the last video that I did on the Apollo, I, I noticed that the races were being too, too AEC because people hadn't ranked up just yet and well, whatever. So now I'm trying, basically I'm gonna be driving this car with, in theory, competition from this and maybe I'll even manage to get to Platinum. But let's have a look at the car itself. Now this is a class B car and if you tell if you if you notice by the rank itself you can kind of tell where this is at high class B though not the highest now having a look at the stats first of all I have the car at max without a single epic I don't have a single epic applied though you can see that I have seven so if I can get one single epic from the riot that would be fantastic and I'll be able to gold the car but we'll see but anyway, I want to test it as is with the uh, max without being gold because precisely, even if you don't get a single epic in the riot, this is the, the, the state at which you will get the car if you do manage to max it out. For a class B of speed of 347 is actually considerably high. Obviously not as high as something like an Apollo N or things like that, but this is pretty high considering that this is still an agile car. A 347 speed, almost 348 for an agile car, is pretty good. The speed at 82.75, it's good. It's on the good side, nothing straight up amazing, but definitely above average. A handling of 79, almost 80, it's really high. And Nitro of 66, it's pretty decent. You know, again, nothing insanely, but insane, but still pretty good. So overall, this car, just from the stats alone, it's pretty strong. So let's test it out. Let's see what we get in the races and we can continue talking about this. Now, like I said, it seems likely that I'm gonna still find some people that are not, uh, I hate to say it, but you know, that I may not be necessarily the most skilled players out there. You know, we've all been there, so it's fine. But yeah, so it seems that people that are still stuck in the gold league, well, they may not have the best cars or the best experience to rank up. Now, I originally didn't want to rank up to platinum precisely because I wanted to be in the correct league to play with some of these cars. But unfortunately, like I said, in the Apollo IE video, I'll leave the, the link in the top right about now if you want to watch that one instead. I got, spoiler alert, all W's, all W's, which is not something that you would see DBT get normally. DBT is not that level of player. Um, in fact, if I get half the W's, that's pretty good. But for the most part, yeah, that told me that there was something wrong. And indeed, it just seems that I've, I, I recorded, I'm recording this way too late into the season. And even in the whole, you know, by month season or whatever it is, I don't even know what it's called anymore. Um, oh, hold on, someone's catching up. Hold up, hold up. I'm not gonna go for the jump, I'm just gonna go for the shockwave. And barely, all right, all right, they were catching up. What was that? Uh, that was a Huayra BC, I think. All right, that's a first place. That was, you know, it got, it got interesting at the end. Uh, Huayra BC and Like, and we're catching up. There was another Por Italia, though that one was overclocked. I went to the JP, Jonix, two Lycans. All right, yeah, suddenly this, this is starting to look better. That was the idea of me playing in a higher league than where this car belongs. Ooh, New York, okay. This does have a good section for top speeders, so... Again, my car is not slow, but it's not that fast either. 
Now, actually, this card reminds me a little bit to the... Um, oh, what is that card that people don't pay attention to? And it's pretty good in Class B. Aston Martin DBS Super Legera. I think that's the name of it. The red one. Uh, yeah, that thing is also really, really, really good. It reminds me a lot of this card, though. It's not exactly the same. Uh, I think that one is even old, even faster than this one, like a 355 or something. Uh, but it has slightly worse acceleration, slightly worse handling, but I think it's slightly better nitro, something like that. You know, you know how the balance works. It's similar but different. So it reminds me a little bit of this this car because. In some ways, you could consider this a hurricane killer. Yeah, it doesn't accelerate as good. Yeah, it doesn't have as good nitro, but it's fast. Oh, God, no! No! Oh, I hate when that happens. I was trying to do a 360 on on, on the exit of the stairs, but the, the tail of my car just ever so slightly touched the... the, the what? Uh, I don't even know what to call it. The off track or whatever, and that just... Teleported me. Ooh, ooh, what happened with him? I don't know, but let's go, let's go, let's go. Can I keep the first place? Can I get the first place? I did. Let's go, Barber. Jesus. All right, there was a mistake on my side, and then there was a mistake on his side, and that's a W for me. Let's go. Um, so there was a Lycan, which again, faster car, considerably much faster, really. Icona Volcano, Egoista. There it is, the DBS Super Legera that I was talking about. P1, J50, and FXXK. All right, that's another W. Now, you can already tell that this is diff a different case than my video on the Apollo Intense Emotion because over here, even if not everybody is the hyper competitive of all, there's definitely some competition over here, so this is fun. Because, um, yeah, believe it or not, while it, it is good for my for my ego to be like, oh, did you see the video where I got nine or eight or however many Ws? Um, nah, the reality is that that's not as interesting. The, the interesting part is precisely to see how the car performs against all the cars that are that is being matched against in theory similar cars and just see well what it can do or like a wise person would say you want to find how far can it take me wow i feel like i've heard that before i wonder where so yeah this is um getting a little bit more interesting though in this oh god what just happened i was trying to do a wall ride and it just bounced me off at least it didn't was at least it wasn't a wreck but hey um well, this particular race doesn't seem as competitive as previous one, but still. Oh, Jesus. The, the idea is that I think, and I did this on purpose. I made it so that there were going to be some races here in gold. And if things went right, I was going to be able to get to platinum. So within this video, I might just make it into platinum. But we'll see. I don't, I don't want to count my... How, how does the saying go? Count my chickens before they hatch or something like that? Or count the... Uh, something like that. You know what I'm saying, right? Um, but yeah, that's another first place. Defeating the Fire BC, Berlinera Egoista, VLF Egoista, Venta J, and another VLF. The VLF is much faster, though. Um, also, not a side job. Okay, this is where I might have a bit of a problem. Himalaya, as you know, this is absolutely top speed. And again, my car isn't slow. But compared against anything in Class A, this is definitely slower. So the Onyx, the Fire BC, even the Venta J, uh, it's faster. All of these cars are faster, so... Now, there might, some of them might have some problems with acceleration or things like that, but overall, yeah, I can expect to have a different result over here, but hey, this is what we're here for. Unless I get really lucky or people mess up or something, but you can see how I'm trying here my best and they're still right behind me. It's not like, oh, I'm making such a... I'm getting so much um, distance from them, away from them. But hey, let's, let's keep on trying. Okay, yeah, there it is. There's a Huayra. And by the way, gotta say that I love... I know, I know, this is a controversial thing, but I love Unbreakable. Now, sadly, this season is about to win. By tomorrow, it's gone. But I've been enjoying Unbreakable a lot because it's like classic where people can still mess you up, but it's not as bad where people can knock you down and mess you up real hard. Over here, they mess you up. They push you a little bit. You end up against the wall or something, but at least you don't get knocked down and you don't lose straight up three to four seconds of your race because of it. So, I don't know, I've been enjoying it, but I've seen a lot of people who are also saying like, oh, this is terrible and blah, 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 blah. Some people are saying Ghost is better. But honestly, there's a thing with Ghost where it feels like you're playing a TLE. So I get why some people don't like Ghost. They still like, oh, yeah, I want to see the other players, but I also want to have that jostling with them. Oh, would you look at that? You know what this means? Platinum. All right, before I celebrate, Huara VC, Aventa the J, Huara, Onyx, Huara, Apex, and VLF. Everyone except the Apex was Class A, but hey, let's go. I got the first place, and Platinum League, baby! Come on, give it. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. All right, 
this wasn't the plan to be able to get out of the gold league with the pure Italia Berlinetta. Now, over here in Platinum is where I imagine more people are, you know, how can I say? Uh, more experienced players are going to be. So let's see what happens here. DBT, did you just paint the car orange? Maybe. <laughs> what can I say? I like cars in orange. Yeah, I made it uh, dual tone orange with a lot of yellow as well. Uh, gives it this taffy, taffy look to it. But anyway, um, so I do expect over here to be getting a much higher competition or harder competition rather. Um, but yeah, let's see. In the Switch version, which by the way, just recently got the patch where it quote-unquote fixes the controller issues. I'm gonna make a video on it, but I don't know, maybe you're not interested. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video on that. But anyway, on the Switch, I've been playing uh, multiplayer and I'm stuck in Platinum something. I don't know exactly which Platinum I am stuck at, but I'm stuck. And that does seem to have with the fact that the point assignments is pretty crazy. It's very easy to lose points over there um, and very hard to gain the points. If you if you get first place, you get 20 points. If you get second place, you might get 10 points. If you get third place, you might get 4 points. Anything under that, you start losing 4, 5, 10, 20 points. It's like, what is happening? You lose points so... It's so ridiculously easy to lose points. So, oh, good. I've been having some issues over there. Hold on, hold on. No, this guy just stayed... Oh, wait, what happened with him? No, yeah, he's faster. Is he faster? No, wait, I'm on first place. First place, let's go! I mean, <coughs> nice. Jesus, see what I'm saying? Suddenly, we got the competition going. Beautiful. Aventador J, 600 LT Spider, Onyx, Titanium, Vantage GT12, Gluckenhaus, and a VLF. All right, yeah, that Aventador J was so close to beating me. Ooh, Caribbean. This might get interesting. Twisted Track. Should be relatively decent for my car. Though I see a Glick... <coughs> excuse me. A Glicken House over there that's pretty agile. I saw a BLF. I think an Aventador J. And I don't know what else. Yeah, let's see how this goes. But yeah, you can see that the competition is definitely different instantly the moment that I reach this league. And that is cool. Now, once again, this creates a bit of a problem. Oh, I don't know if I sent it or not. Okay. Um, this creates a bit of a problem with the the whole idea of this series. Of, of the how far, how far can it take me? Because obviously I started this, this series of videos when Asphalt 9 was a thing. And the multiplayer worked different. And the fun part was like, okay, how far can it take me refer to... Okay, I'm going to start with this car in its league. For example, this thing in Gold League. Can it take me to Platinum League? Which is to a certain degree what I just did, right? But over here, this needed a bunch of planning to make sure that I was going to be able to hit it if things went my way. But... It's just really annoying because, for example, being in in in, in its in the league of this car, um, gold two, I think, no, gold three, where it was, when, wherever it was, gold two, I think, wherever this car belongs to, uh, belongs in, you know, from that point to try to get to 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 the next league, meaning to platinum league, that requires a ton of races. And once again, because of how the, the, the points given changed, I think you were able to get 30 points before. Now you get 20 points max. So it's much slower to get there. And I don't know. It's just making these videos a little bit difficult to make. Because again, I may not be in the correct league, on the, in the correct sub league. I don't know. It's, it's a bit of a mess. The whole idea was to drive the car where it belongs and see if the car itself can take me out of the league, but man, this is just a mess. All right, I did get the feeder by the clicking house. Like I said, I was a little bit afraid because that thing is very agile and it also accelerates like crazy. So it makes sense, but I did everything else. So that's pretty neat. Anything, oh, oh, a Porsche 911 GT3 RS. I would have expected that one to do much better, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. Now, one of the sad parts about this car is that it only has two default colors. Uh, the gray one I used in some of the races before this, it's kind of gray, but with tiny bit of blue. Then we got it also on red, but that's just meh red that's why i had to go for the custom colors and and try to get something fancy so let me try to to come up with another one. Oh, another caribbean oh boy another glicking house i think it's gonna be a repeat now not to toot my own horn or anything but i think i just gave my car a pretty nice color it's a blue dual tone weird greenish blue thingy look at this thing oh, i think it looks pretty dope and i made it matte because matte looks cool all right because i said so i don't know why some people don't like uh, Matt actually was a, it was Motley in one of the videos when they were announcing when they were hyping up Alu uh, that they he talked about the colors and whatnot and he said something along the lines but who uses Matt? And I'm like 
I feel personally attacked by that. All right, you can see instantly everybody's ahead of me. And I don't think I'm driving horrible over here, but let me see if I can come back a little bit. I'm gonna do this one. I'm not gonna go for the jump, because I can mess it up very easily on that jump, so no thank you. But let's see if I can get my chocolate going. Come on. All right, fair enough, fair enough. But these guys are still ahead of me by a decent chunk. My hope is that they mess somewhere around here, but... Nope, so far they're doing great. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe, maybe here. I'm catching up to the Huayra. I'm past the Huayra. I'm in top three, let's go. Now, this is not a podium cam, but hey, that's... Oh, God! No, no! Oh, man! Oh, I think I started the, the drift of the... Because this car doesn't drift bad. But, you know, if you do it wrong, you're going to drift very wide, and I think just happened, and there you go. Kira was going to celebrate that I got a top three, and then instantly fall back to... Fall back to fourth place well done dbt well done that's still four points acquired but still jesus christ all right defeated by the glicking house a perda and a huayra bc now you saw how i was racing huayra bcs earlier uh, when i was in gold but i was defeating them so this does show in dead how there's a difference in the skill level uh, apparently the better players uh, or the more experienced players are in platinum okay, that's fine i like this Ooh, rome all right, I don't know how we're going to perform over here. Why is my game stuttering? Is it going to crash? Please don't crash, game. Um, now, keep in mind that the performance that you're seeing on this car, it's, once again, the max performance, not gold. Now, probably once I go, then, yeah, it's going to be a tiny bit better, but nothing outstanding. But, yeah, like I said, I wanted to show you this perf Oh, God. This performance like this, precisely, because this is uh, how you're going to be able to get the car through the car hunt, even if you don't get a single epic there. And, honestly... Cars like this that only need four, excuse me, only need two epics per per stat. Um, they don't absolutely need the epics. You know, obviously it's better if you have them, for sure. Wow, that that, that guy went on a strange route over there. All right, um, it's not that that I, I'm not gonna say, oh, I would have, I would like to have them go, but it's, the car doesn't absolutely need those epics in order to perform. So it's gonna get some pretty decent performance overall close to what it is obviously when you have cars that need three or four epics per part oh well then they really those epics really start making a difference but over here it's not that big a deal and like i said this car can still perform pretty nicely oh for frog's sakes man really well that was gonna be a first place and dbt just messed it up oh i was so ready to celebrate ah jesus christ fine third place baby <laughs> Uh, all right, so what beat me? Just because I let them win, if anything. Lycan and Ahuara, but I did beat the Volcano, F12 TDF, Apollo N, Huara BC, Enchantenario. All right, well, there you have it. That was the Pure Italia Berlinetta. Like I said, a very good car overall. Absolutely worth going for in the car hunt. Now, whether or not you want to go with the, uh, what is it called? Event Pass or whatever. Honestly, it would have been smarter to get it for the previous, uh, since the previous hunt for the Victor, and then also for this hunt, it would have lasted these two hunts, but either way. Um, yeah, I think this is a very good car, so you actually absolutely should go for it, in my opinion. Now, if you have a bunch of really good Class B cars, then it's not that you need it, but hey, why not have it? All right, that's all for today. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit like button, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.